Hello again guys, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra deck guide and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys once again the Go Hard Twisted Fate deck. I've spent the last 48 hours plus optimizing this list. Ultimately, I am happy with where the deck's at. I'll mention one thing quickly. This deck does struggle against War Mothers. War Mothers is a very popular deck in the metagame. We all know about it. War Mothers, Feel the Rush, however you'd like to call it, this deck struggles against it. However, we are 11 and 6 with the deck, it does decently against the rest of the metagame and it's a very cool deck to say the least. This deck is going to cover card summary, mulligan, matchup, strategy, so everything you need to know how to play this deck like a pro and reach masters. Links to the deck list deck code down below. It's alternatively, if you want to jump straight to the gameplay, there's going to be timestamps for that too. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and do not forget to subscribe, thanks for the support. So let's go over the card summary and we'll talk about Go Hard specifically here because this is like the card that the decks are built around essentially. Go Hard will drain one from a unit and shuffle two copies of me into your deck. Once you've cast me three times, transform all copies of me everywhere into pack your bags. This seems like a great starting point to talk about because uh, pack your bags is kind of nuts. Deal five to all enemies and the enemy nexus and you transform all copies back into Go Hard. So basically this deck wants to draw lots of cards it wants to play cards like Zap, Sprayfin, Timor, Tudor, this card specifically, and kind of play these over and over and kind of beat your opponent down with an aggressive strategy. So in saying that, one of the other highlights of this deck is going to be Zap, Sprayfin, one of the most powerful cards for this deck as it definitely tutors specifically for that card, which is kind of nuts. However, we do run a couple of spells here, such as pick a card as a one of for some more crazy uh, burst card draw as well as Glimpse Beyond for some more card draw. So every now and then your Zap Sprayfin will not hit the card that you want, which is Go Hard. But in some cases, uh, if you play a deck right, you piled it correctly, you can improve your odds for Zap Sprayfin hitting the card that you need. We are running Double Riptide Rex in this deck, an alternative finisher. Uh, we do kind of have a pretty aggressive uh, curve. So sometimes you can just get to turn eight and drop a Riptide Rex and end the game on the spot. It also goes great alongside the uh, pack your bags as this deals five to the enemy nexus as well so it's a way to activate plunder one withering whale uh, uh this is pretty much just a one-off because it's kind of very niche in what it does and that is blow out aggro decks so there's a few aggro decks running around like we have nightfall we can consider scouts to be somewhat of an aggressive deck even though withering's not fantastic against it you can sometimes punch through their ranges resolve early and then use withering whale to kind of get some healing as well as clearing their board a uh, 3 Twisted Fate makes a lot of sense in this deck. Oftentimes, board clears, blue card, yellow card, it does everything you need to do. Most of the time, I find myself playing this for blue card. 3 Salvage for more aggressive card draw. 1 Brash Grambler for some very unique card draw. This card, um, you know, I was going through this card quite a lot throughout my chat and throughout my streams and uh, people were convinced it was kind of bad. I'm convinced it's actually a pretty interesting card. Against some slower decks, you can slap this down and it gets unchecked and then you start to get some very aggressive card draw. Uh, you don't usually like look to play this on curve, sometimes you can. Like it's not so much, like in some matchups, the cards are going to be fleeting that you find, but we don't care. For the chance that we have 5 mana up and we play Brash Gambler and we attack and we find 1 go hard, that's, that is a success to me. As we mentioned, 1 pick a card, 3 Petty Officer, Doom Beast for some fearsome blockers. There's actually quite a fair bit of these like fearsome decks running around now. Uh, Doom Beast finds a good home for sustain and fearsome blockers. It's a similar reason why Petty Officer is here as well. Uh, three Glimpse Beyond for more aggressive card draw. You'll see a trend here. Fortune Croker, more card draw. At least it's kind of like early game aggression and just providing a wider board. So you can use cards like Fortune Croker, Glimpse Beyond more effectively. 3 Dread by Deckhand, 3 Pulse Arc for more aggressive card draw. In some matchups you can play this on turn 1 too, it's been a common question for me. Um, against the like more aggressive matchups, you can play Pulse Arc on curve, because sometimes you'll hit Fortune Croaker on turn 2 as well, and like you'll just find something playable off the draw. And if like you find something really expensive and you don't get to play it, that's fine, you're one step closer towards Go Hard. A 2 Jagger Butcher for very unique value. Um, it's only two, not three, because this is gonna be the most powerful when you play it in the first early turns. After that, it's kind of like a dead draw. So only two for the chance that sometimes you can find it on turn one and play it. 
or for the chance within the first couple of turns you can plunder it out as a 3-3 which is relevant against Fearsome. It's also pretty decent to play on turn 1 into Fortune Croker turn 2 and of course 3 go hard. You'll be able to find the deck list down in the description below as well as a deck code for anybody who's interested in playing this deck yourself. We're going to go over some starting hands here and talk about the mulligan for a sec. Now I will say in many many matchups looking for go hard aggressively is going to be the safest play. However, if you're versing another aggressive deck, you still hope to have go hard, but you can sometimes feel safe uh, keeping somewhat of a curve. So with a hand like this, since we already have the one go hard, I think it might be pretty safe to keep the Jagged Butcher as well. Now, depending on whether you're on the first act or not, let's say you're versing Scouts, Nightfall, etc, etc. Um, what you want to actually do is you don't actually want to play anything straight away. If you're the first person to make a play, you're attacking odds. Just proceed to pass for a moment and see what your opponent does before you commit to the Jagger Butcher. Floating mana for this deck is not the worst. We do have an aggressive strategy, but it's kind of similar. We can say like Nightfall, where Nightfall can like do some more stronger combos. So I will say look for ways to punish your opponent by not playing immediately. Alternatively, if your opponent plays something on the first act, maybe it's a Fleetwood Tracker against Scouts, maybe it's the Duskbringer against Nightfall, you get some pretty good go hard value. We'll do a couple more starting hands here um, because in some cases you're not going to have go hard in your opening hand. I'll talk about at least for a second because at least is generally, uh, I think it's most of the time going to be a fine keep in almost any matchup. Even if you don't have to go hard, I think at least is the only card I would keep in exception for going for go hard hard, literally. So this is a pretty good hand. I would say we'll just keep the go hard and at least at this point, you might even consider, consider keeping the fortune croaker for just some more very aggressive card draw. I can't unclick that, but you get the idea. So we'll keep the Elise, keep the Go Hard, and keep the Fortune Croaker. One more starting hand. This one looks a lot more easy. Pretty much going to be a full mulligan because I don't see Go Hard, nor do I even see Elise. So yeah, this is kind of like a more of a bricked out hand. We'd want to hope that we find Go Hard. I will say that the deck does struggle a lot more when you don't find Go Hard within the first few early turns. Similar to like how Elise in deck doesn't really function without the lease in. However, alternatively, as you can see here, we have somewhat of a decent aggressive curve. So sometimes you can just beat your opponent down and then play a Riptide Rex towards the later half of the game. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I make very in-depth Runeterra content to help you guys improve at the game and become the ultimate Runeterra pro. Let's talk about some of the matchups here. So as I stated earlier in the video, against War Mothers, unfortunately, it's almost a throwaway game. Um, you can sometimes hope to kind of cycle those gohards very, very aggressively. Unfortunately, that is not going to be enough. But yeah, you know, War Mothers is top of the tier metagame. If you don't want to play that, that's fine. But yeah, we're going to struggle against it. It is what it is. Against Pirate Aggro, I actually haven't faced this too many times. I don't feel like our deck struggles against other decks that play for board. Scouts is going to be a little bit 50-50. Kind of like I find against these decks if we can just hard cycle the go hards and develop a board state and just chump block away until we find that uh, pack your bags which is the upgraded version you're literally going to blow out any of these like semi mid-range semi aggressive decks including discard aggro. Tarm Raka I faced it once I played pack your bags and pretty much stomped it. Uh, similar against Ash I faced this a couple times and I did get to play Pack your bags, I had enough time to get there and it really helped a lot. You'll see a common trend here where basically it's all about trying to find the pack your bags in these matchups and blow them out. For Yorosh Shen, it's starting to pop up a little bit more. However, I haven't faced it. I have no comments to add for this matchup. Against uh, the Vimo decks, I think uh, you're going to have plenty of time to go get towards your pack your bags and like literally blow out these decks. Lee and Targon, uh, I'd probably say the Lee and decks kind of favored. We're just not fast enough because we are kind of like a bit slow when it comes to finding pack your bags sometimes and they have um answers to it like if they actually notify your um even if they like notify your gohards the first version it slows down the rest of the deck in terms of the cycle because you're not only playing that one but you're not putting more any more into your deck so don't be baited by trying to only notify the pack your bags upgraded version if you notify their go hards it slows down the deck a lot as well swain tf um pretty much not really existing right now but i always say we have a pretty good shot against them uh we'll have a bit of time to get towards our pack your bags and really blow them out nightfall aggro similar thing 
kind of like fighting for the border aggressively and looking to cycle those packet bags. So the matchup spreads honestly against Lee Sin and War Mothers, maybe not as favored against everything else. You have a decent shot. I'm noticing a trend of a lot of cafes opening up serving beverages and alcohol as well. So yeah, I might have to look to get an RSA just to make a plan. Like it's literally like I need to get an RSA just so I can like open open a bottle of Kelton Draft for the people at the desk. It's retarded. It's like I'm gonna pay $150 to get an RSA just so I can like crack open a can of a cold one for the boys in a public venue. So I saw some of them. I checked out some of the menus for the place that um uh, got back to me. Literally, it's like their alcohol menu was just like JD and Coke. BR and like a vodka and it's like I need to get an RSA to serve that <laughs> what's an RSA responsible serving of alcohol um it's something that exists I think in Australia coke and JD Jack Daniels the type of beverage Yeah, you can't work as a bartender in Australia without an RSA. True story. You know the thing? I don't think many places in the world do it. Actually, I, I, I can't even... Like, I think maybe the, the US and A does it? I don't know. Soldiers, to me. This Battlesmith's gonna get him a ridiculous amount of value. Jack Daniels sounds pretty rough, but I've never tried it with Coke before. Either have I. Don't sweat it. Either have I. This always hits the card we need. Yeah, I would I would definitely say a brash gambler's doing pretty okay here. Some games it feels really bad, but some some games it feels kind of good. I was running two copies of it, now I'm running a single copy of it. Okay, champ. I guess I can swing here. I definitely like it. Today we turn the tide of war. Um shit. I guess I have to pass. No. Unfortunately not. It's like I can pass here to set up the Dreadway deck end. So I can play with Rune Whale over the keg. That honestly isn't fantastic. I made a TF go hard yesterday and it was basically pure pure draw. Went 4 3 in normals because I can't manage against aggro. I don't hate this deck against aggro, actually. Bannerman? This is Elite's. Elite, yeah, yeah. Bannerman. Elite's Bannerman, however you want to pronounce it. If I can draw go hards, I, I should be able to win here. Um, Kind of nuts. Now, if you count, if you count how many, if you take a moment to count how many, um, is that a rally? That's nuts. How is that even worth? One way to test them out.
Yeah, that was interesting. I guess he has no way to protect this, right? Wait, do I even care about this? I need to calculate how many elites he's played. So assuming that he had for the fallen in the opening hand, he's played one, two, He's only played two elites. <laughs> Garen counts as elite, by the way. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Well, this makes sense. I'm glad I didn't go for the Withering Whale line. Probably would have found myself just walking into too many issues. Um... Yeah, let's just, let's just high roll this guy hard. Be right back, no worries. Yeah, hardware, feel free to, feel free to try out the list as well, by the way. But, you know, we're still, we're still working out the kinks here. He's played three, three elites, which means that he's, um... Shit. No! Pack your bags! Yeah! Hoggers. Okay, so he's played one, two, three, four elites. He can't play for the fall on this turn. Wait, let me calculate this. Bannerman's one elite. Vanguard Demon's two elites. Three. Four. Yeah, you can't do anything about this. <laughs> he can't play for the fall on this turn, which is huge for us. I I'm not even sure how he stops this from doing anything. What's very important here is understanding that he has three mana. This might just be like a single combat or something. Yeah, fair enough. The amount of tempo loss he's going to get now is huge. We kind of just high rolled on him though. If we hadn't have found that uh, go hard, we would have been in trouble. These things happen. Where are you, I'll take my free damage. GG. Yeah, yeah, my dude finished work, so I'm gonna duck out on out. Have fun, enjoy your claim. Thanks, Fern. Uh, full mole. Yay! Dude, when you play a go hard deck and you see it in your opening hand. Oh boy, that's a good one. That's a good giggle. Wait, do you actually play T1 Pool Shark? What's T1 Pool Shark? Oh. You mean pool? What do you mean T1? I play pool shark, yes. Oh, turn one pool shark. Oh, turn one pool shark. Sorry. Took me a while to catch on to what you're trying to say. Um, in some matchups, I think you should play turn one pool shark, yes. But when you have go hard, it's chill. We're chilling. Sometimes I want to aggressively look for go hard. And that is an option. Also, if you have... Where is it? What's the card called? If you have fortune croaker in your, like, in your hand... Ideally, you want to play Pool Shark, right? I've been in this situation before. He chump blocks the fucking... He chump blocks the spider and uses the gem. What do I do here? I don't give him a gem. I've been down this rabbit hole before. I need to be careful. 
the gem gives him an easy activator for Nightfaller's turn as well. So even if he doesn't heal up the um, even if he doesn't heal the Mountain Goat, yeah, I like Go Hard the most because I'm Evelyn's simp. Hell yeah, dude. I respect my simps. I simped so hard once upon a time. I ended up getting married. Pog. Simp. <laughs> Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. Cool, this looks pretty good. We'll just chump this and then open up immediately with the uh, go immediately for the go hard. Makes a lot of sense to me. I don't think I could have played that turn any differently. Uh, open attack seems good. Open attack does seem very good. You suffer long. What's important to note here is that we have double glimpse beyond in our opening hand. Zap spray fin. 90% of the time should find us a go hard. 80%. We have an 80% chance. Okay. It's fine. Well, you won't be my friend? I'll come over there right now, binge you over, and suck a fart out your butthole. Hey, Colon. Colo Norris, too. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Dude, what are the. Dude. We're talking 80% chance. Unlucky. All unbelievers will see the light. How do I beat Nocturne? You pay, I don't know spirits. These are my rules. There's no way he's not playing Nocturne here. Like, look at who plays this for the opener. Like, you have the gem as well. Like, you could have, like, gemmed. This has to be, like, a Nocturne play. Hey, I bleed, Reed. How are you going? I'm just dead to a thousand units here. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Find your path in the dark. And follow no false light, dude. Come on, let that be it. Let that be. Call that a day, dude. Call that a day. I cannot turn back. Follow the horizon. Follow my ass. Is everybody having a great night? Yes, I think so, sir. Why? Oh, you can't even challenge here, right? True. Um, I guess we take all the appropriate blocks. Perhaps I just have to block this. And this. Do I go for Glimpse Beyond now? Or do I chill? I think I'll chill. Dude, it happens hardware. Dude, that legitimately happens. It just, it just fucking happens. I don't know why it happens. But it happens. And you don't, you don't draw fucking go hard and the deck feels like it just falls over. I'm going to go play some games myself. Have a good stream, man. Let's chill soon. Yo, coronavirus it is, dude. My man. Vibes are hot. Keg. Kegs into Twisted Fate. Sounds fantastic to me, ladies and gentlemen. Do I ever greet out here? I do not think I greet out here. I'm always up for a round or two. It's like you have to have unspeakable horror, otherwise you're fucked, my dude. Who says I don't share? Bog. Doesn't mean we're out of the black hole yet though. 
Doesn't mean we're out of the black hole yet. All it takes is a fat nocturne. Our board can't kind of block elusive shit and we're fucked, but I'm not going to play around it. Why didn't he smack the... Very interesting. No, don't, don't surrender. No, why? Dude, you've actually got nuts draws. It was in the cards. There's actually nuts draws in that situation. I find go hard so fast. I mean, it could still be a good champion choice for sure. I can see it. Like what other champion would you run? And Jinx does give you card draw. That sounds hype. I'll have to suss it out. I'm still committed to um, doing something with this list though, for sure. If I play this now, I can deny a lot of damage. I tried to type fake hero said and it got auto modded. Yeah, I do have, you know, some precautions. Yo, he's nuts. I got outplayed guys, I got outplayed. Dude, you know what I could have done? Oh man, how was that? Hmm. Imagine if I passed against his precious pet. How pog would I have been? That would have been the best pog play. So this forces him into open attacking. And if he wants to ignore the keg, that's fine with me. Oh, he doesn't even go for the open. What a mad lad. Do I not just play Twist of Fate here and go for red card? <laughs> so you could have Vile Feast, obviously, but um... It still makes sense to go for this, right? It's just kind of nuts. Huge win. Huge win, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this block makes sense. This block makes sense. Okay, back for reals this time. Welcome back, Arcanus. Hope you're having a fantastic night and staying busy at work. See, these are the spots where I feel like Brash Gambler really shines. Like this hand is this like... It's looking to just kind of... Play Brash. I, I got other options here now. I got other options here. But like, I really do like playing Brash here. It's like more than likely I don't draw the Go Hards, but if I draw one Go Hard out of these card draws, it's kind of nuts. I'll also start the Power Farm and Twist of Fate. The question is, what do I discard if I decide to play it? And I think I keep the Doom Beast and I get rid of the other card draws. We'll see what happens if I do this. We'll see what happens if I do it this way. Now, obviously, I'm probably not going to be able to attack appropriately here. Okay, so unfortunately, like, we lose these cards, but it's chill. It's chill. Well, we found Pool Shark, so that's fantastic. I think he's setting up for Frenzied Skidder. So hopefully I can find some answers to that. Just a Darius here. This saves me. This if I play Doom Beast like this, it literally saves me more damage.
Now use glimpse on your brash for maximum IQ. That doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Let's play this glimpse. Oh, dude, does he play apprehend? Nah, there's no way, boys. There's no way, right? Imagine the apprehend plays. <laughs> now this game's heating up. So I think what you want to do here is you want to open up. You want to open with the go hard, right? Because that sets up the rest of the turn really smoothly. Because you shuffle more go hards into your deck, resulting in Twisted Fate finding more copies of them. And it looks really good from this position. And Brash really just come in really strong here. I'm really just happy with how she performed. Makes sense maybe just to run only a single copy of her. And um, so he just decides to develop. We want to be as mana efficient as possible this turn. Now I think if it is play Zap. Zap's going to hit hit stuff really strong. And we found Packy Bags. So basically, I just have to beat Rizm Miss here. That's about it. Um, at least, at least feels fine here. Alternatively, I can go for Pack Your Bags now, but it's not doing anything. Actually, I don't think it makes a, a difference whether I play it now or afterwards. So we'll just play it now, right? I literally don't think it makes a difference because like the stun cards are relevant here. Yeah, no, I was just thinking like, do I want to develop a lease first or, you know, Risen Mist can block some damage, but you know, I think I was just trying to think of all the like the outcomes here. Really good game. That was solid. Unironically though, unironically it does, it's struggling against Lee Sin and War Mothers I feel at the moment. Is this the final form? No, but we're getting close. We're getting extremely close to the final version of this deck. I needed, I needed to be able to do well against Lee Sin. And I want to face more Lee Sins. Uh, we're attacking even, so I will keep the Elise here. Literally, more like we're about to hit Ultra Instinct with the deck. Mm. I could have played the Butcher turn one, but I'm going to be kind of greedy here. Damn it. All right, fake hero. See you, man. Have a good stream and hope you can find a job. Thank you. I hope so too, before my wife kills me. <laughs> yeah, nah, it is at the back of my mind. Can't wait to go back into the real world. Whoa, this is a crazy pass. Yo, do you actually pass here, my dude? Hey, meat cute. How you going? What do you guys think about this pass? Do I just take it? I think I take this pass, right? Real world Kappa, I know. Speaking about Kappa, can't wait for the new emotes and the new logo. My heart's telling me to take the pass. My heart's also telling me to take the open attack. New logo, yes. Something... Something nice, something official. You dare. 
Yep, new logo for everything. I'll finally have... I'll finally have something to represent me. So it's gonna be good. All solar fear the truth. There's plenty of killing left. Bye bye, Psychness. I know. I can't just have Psychness forever, right? He started without me. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. Hey Defiance, how you going, buddy? Hope you have a fantastic day. How you doing? Good. Do you know anyone that needs a brister? So we can always take more passes against the Nightfall deck, right? This is not really representing anything. Diana comes down. Unironically, Diana is not flipped here. That's kind of annoying. I will pass. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. This is outrage. Hey, Sarai, how you going, buddy? So what I want to do here, what I want to do here, what I want to do here, I want to play Twisted Fate. I'm always up for a round or two. And we want to draw some cards. Blue as the serpentine. I've lost so many times today, I decided to bully people with Mono Fiora today. Fantastic. I'm super glad to hear that. I'm actually going to go straight up for the salvage here. Just to be super mana efficient. I think that's a fine choice. Imagine he double unspeakable horrors, my twist of fate. That's gonna feel really bad for him. Gotta go with the flow. Nice. Love to see go hards. Love to see go hards. How's it go hard bean? We're currently 10 and 4. <sighs> Fuck. Damn it. Does this deck run Dreadway? No, not in my list, not my variant. There's lots of different lists out there. I need Salvage. Glimpse is acceptable as well. We want to do Glimpse now because he probably wants to play one more card here. If not, he can attack like this, but he's not flipping. He's not flipping. And there's our one copy of Withering Whale. I guess you can win them all. We're actually in a nut spot now, all of a sudden. Yeah, so he goes, he takes the attack now, right? He takes the attack now. But he's not flipping Nocturne. This is very relevant. He is not, and I repeat, he is not flipping Nocturne. I have a chance to wipe out his entire board with one spectacular Withering Whale. 
So how do you want to do this, buddy? How are we, how are we dancing here? Is there ever a reason to do this before the attack? So I can get my you can't do this. blue card. There is a reason to do it before the attack. This is going to be very hard for him to actually work out a way to protect half his units. What I would suspect to see here is possibly a Pale Cascade to start off on Nocturne, but he'd need to play double to actually save it from dying. It's very relevant that he couldn't flip Nocturne this turn. Another play would be to go kind of all in on Diana and push lots of damage. So you can like do a Pale Cascade times two maybe with an Unspeakable Horror, but... I don't think that's quite enough. How many TFs still in the deck? Um, two. Okay. Top deck's a Pale Cascade. That's a little crazy, that top deck. Why? He's still losing Nocturne though. That has to be a mistake. He made a misplay. That's okay though. It happens. Happens to the best of us. How many go hards have we played? We've only played one go hard. He must have been hoping to draw another pale, right? Only if he hasn't got another Nocturne in hand. Does that make sense? Only if he hasn't got another Nocturne in hand. So is Gohard as a thing? Seems sort of sweet. If it is, I haven't seen it. Sounds interesting though. Shit. Well, you won't be my friend. I'll come over there right now, binge you over, and suck a fart out your butthole. Yo, come, come, Mr. Crazy. How you going, man? Uh, eight to. He's pushing fourteen damage this turn. Never mind. Yeah, thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, he's probably, um... He's probably got atrocity, right? His hand is like, he's got atrocity. He has to. The way his hand's been playing out, it's super textbook read. 
How many more times should we hydrate? Just once for now. Okay. The only choice you have here is to kind of go for a Riptide Rex. So we don't play around Atrocity, so I'm going to continue to play my cards. I can't believe he's thinking about this long. He's probably going to my Mobilitics right now, trying to find out what cards I'm running. Just to make sure there's nothing that could possibly go wrong. That pass, Atrocity for sure. Yeah, thanks for all the hydrates. I'm going to need to use the restroom after this game, I think. Just hurry up and play Atrocity. The reason, like, without a doubt, he's got Atrocity because why else would you Dusk Pedal out the Diana this turn? Wait, what's happening? What? Hello? I'm so confused. Chug, chug, chug. Dude, I thought I had the reeds, dude. He's smarter than me? He might be. He tricked me into thinking he might have been doing that. He might have been doing that. <coughs> Holy shit. Luckily I played uh, Riptide Rex this turn. He's just very dead. I'll finish the rest of the bottle. Golden Sisters, let's see it dude. How nuts would Golden Sisters be here? Living Legends, correct. Alternatively, like, yeah, yeah, it can only be Golden Sisters as one of the best outcomes here. Meteor Shower is also fantastic. If he has unspeakable horror. Unspeakable horror. Pog! Can you hydrate with alcohol instead of water? No, I can't.
What do you drink all this water has made me need to pee? Well then go to the restroom. The restroom is... Just there. Just down the road. Moon silver. Into another messenger. You know what? I might lose to a nocturne still. <clears throat> Basically, he needs to have his third Nocturne to win this game. Alternatively, uh, Diana into Atrocity is still a possible play, but not this turn. Oh. Dude, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yo, Ioki, thank you so much for the bits, man. We're one step closer to turn this into a dream. So I'm just going to play the cards that can block fearsome units, right? I need more Appreciate the support, man. What's the idea of this deck? You go hard. You go hard, my dudes. You go hard. He's trying to go full fi uh, f full fearsome against me. I'm not going to allow it. He doesn't have Nocturne too, which is good. Nor Diner does he have. Come, tonight we'll bring Fuck! You. My ass! <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm still not dead to atrocity. No, I am, because this thing still exists. If you work, burn if you don't. What the f Does it not show? Hogs, he doesn't have atrocity. We win. Um, Mobilytics plugin would not show the extra go hard cards. No, I don't think it would do that. Ours is the one true light. Imagine dying to an atrocity here. It's like he's had so many opportunities to play atrocity. Why am I playing around it now? Why am I playing around atrocity? There's no way he's help. Oh god. <laughs> that was that a fucking anxiety attack, dude. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's actually still alive here, sort of. Dude, this guy's been baiting me the entire time, man. I can't always go hard. Bit soft. Bit soft, boys. <sighs> Alright, I think this is the list. Need a bigger sample size for real results. I mean, this this is only... Well, how many games have we played this? We're like 
10 and 4, but this is not my first rodeo with the deck. Uh, gear checks. This is not the first time I've played this deck. We've had other versions that we've played about a dozen games with. And another version before that, in the original version. This is not my first rodeo over the last past 48 hours. I probably played almost 50 games with this deck. I don't mean to come off like, I just want to make sure like, you know, I'm actually trying to provide a deck that I believe could be reasonable. And not just using like this specific run as my full sample size. The hydrate, the hydrate please is satisfied. I need to refill my water. Bruh, I got the best version of it at the moment, I promise. Yes, Zero has an alternative version. If you're interested in seeing that too, I would recommend it. His list, I think, runs like Vengeance and Crumble and has a few more late game removal spells. Maybe Ruination as well. I pull the strings. Do I ever... I think, um, what are we reversing? Yeah, we want to hit RM, dude. I cut the ruin today and added petties, so no more ruination. What? What? What do you think? Don't don't drop that Quinn mode on me, dude. Like I know what I'm doing. I'm out here trying to get go hard, dude. The hell do you mean? Petty does block fearsomes. Very true. I guess I pass for now. King of trolls coming through. Sweet. So let's, um, dude, I can actually, I can sometimes clear this trundle, guys. Yo, I can legit sometimes clear this trundle. Watch this. Watch this. Yo, I'm about to go hard. Yo, what's up, Laska? Homie, how are you? I've been applying for like 50 jobs today, Sims. Michael. I've been applying for jobs like crazy. And he, and he thought I was a fucking idiot for playing the go hard on my own unit. I'll knock him dead. Joke's on him, dude. Joke's on him. Do I even block this? I think I... Do. I got class now? Alright, sorry, right. have a fantastic day. Yeah, legit. We're going for it. Go with the no! What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, bro. Ah, oh, dude, what were the chances of that? That was a low odd. We played three go hards, shuffling in a total of um six. We had six and three, so it was a six to three ratio plus one pick a card. So I guess I guess it wasn't that uncommon for that to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it happens. I guess sometimes. It would have been a massive tempo swing. Okay. So young. Nothing escapes my watch. Rock if you work, run if you don't. Yo, unscarred Reaver, Pog. Imagine hitting that against Avalanche. Um. Is, is now the time to clear it? Why are you no Glimpse Elise? Because I want to damage, I want to damage the Trundle. Damage the Trundle, I get pack your bags that clear it. Pack it up, pack it up. Are we packing the bags, Zero? Yeah, let's pack it up, dude. Reva is just a go hard, the goat go hard target. True. Light the signal fires. These 
Ooh, no avalanche. Alternatively, maybe avalanche isn't that good there. Reverse the glimpse target. Yo, can you imagine having another trundle? I guess I have to pass here, even for the chance that he passes, it's fine. Let's do this. You're in troll hands now. One troll to rule them all. One troll to rule them all. Trundle's fucking cringe. Go on, vengeance, my unscarred breather. You're in troll lands now. Come closer. I don't bite. Trundle's mad cringe. I know, man. I know. Are you actually fucking insane? Is that really worth it? Okay, champ. I guess Glimpse did do something there, right? Yeah, this is... It's kind of over. It's kind of over. There was like a little bit of a chance of winning this game and it just got... completely taken away from us. That was when we had of drawn the go hard on that certain turn. Pack your bag, sorry. So that was a bit of a feels bad moment. I mean, here's where like maybe Zero's list might have a better performance because we have like, you know, the vengeance. But even though still, I think it just generally feels kind of bad. I guess you should have gone to the bathroom after all. You might be right. You'll fight or you'll swim. This matchup is garbage. Yeah. I do not disagree. I do not disagree. Well, you won't be my friend? I'll come over there right now, binge you over and suck a fart out your butthole. Yo, Nimacha, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate the support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Is there any outs here? Hello, how are you going? How are your games going? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, coming to the realization that, you know, the Go Hard deck does have some really bad matchups, but can perform pretty well against some other stuff. Like, I can say that War Mothers just feels, or feel the rush, doesn't feel very good.